For almost three decades, beginning in the late 1940s, Pittsburgh had a premier motorsports facility in Scott Township known as Heidelberg Raceway. Today it's home to Lowe's, Walmart, and a variety of other retail establishments. But back in the day, it was a local and national racer's paradise. I recently spoke with Dave Kohler, board member and Hall of Fame committee member of the Pittsburgh Circle Track Club, about Heidelberg Raceway. Heidelberg Raceway was originally constructed to be a horse racing track. It was originally built by Heidelberg Sports Enterprises president, Dave Wright. He, along with a number of other businessmen, including Art Rooney, the owner of the Pittsburgh Steelers, got the money together and built this track for horse racing. At that time, Pennsylvania did not have a license for paramutual betting. Thus, the Heidelberg Raceway was born as a stock car track. Well, Ed Witzberger, a local businessman, he owned a number of tire dealerships in the area, and he purchased the racetrack and ran it basically through its entire existence. But he ran a very tight ship. He was very business-oriented. He loved racing, and it really showed in the type of racetrack that Heidelberg Raceway evolved into, the type of competitors that competed weekly there, brought in a lot of big names, and consequently, the fans showed up. You know, obviously for the horse racing, they wanted a bigger type of track, so it started out as a half mile. They had the quarter mile inside the track. They even had a smaller track inside of the quarter mile, which was an eighth mile. In the center of the eighth mile oval was a crossover, an X, and they used it as a figure eight. Ultimately, they even had the front straightaway of the big track used as a drag racing track. You had five racetracks in one. There were always large crowds, and it was just a thrill and excitement of seeing the guys compete, not only on the dirt track, but on the asphalt track. Different drivers that literally came from all over the United States and Canada. Guys like Bobby Allison, who would haul in from Birmingham, Alabama. He'd run weekly races. He'd win his share, but there were nights that he didn't win. You saw a lot of drivers drivers who were either nationally known drivers or top local drivers. The track started out with a NASCAR sanction. Lee Petty, the father of NASCAR's winningest driver, Richard Petty, won his first ever NASCAR race at the Heidelberg Raceway in 1949. And local driver Dick Linder from the Brookline area, he was second in that race. Boy, you had a lot of guys uh, that, that race there locally that probably the biggest name uh, and the name that, that everybody thinks of when you mention Heidelberg Raceway was Herb Scott. You had a guy like Joe Mihalik. You had guys like Norm Benning, Tony Diano, Jim Bickerstaff. They were the guys that came in from Ohio. Tom Mayer, Bob Seneker, Ed Howe, who would come in from Michigan. They competed against the uh, the local guys, Don Diverts of the world, Johnny Orban, Bill Roush, Peanuts Houston's. Miles Witchy, Don Dale, Glade Neal. The list goes on and on and on from the early days to the latter years. Reasons for the track closing range from the oil crisis to urban sprawl. There may be some truth to all of it, but according to Dave Kohler, the real reason may be, well, let's just say a racing incident. 1973, the area was growing up. Eventually it was going to go away. There was a situation that happened with some of the drivers. Joe Mihalik and Norm Benning got involved in an accident. Norm pretty much stuffed Joe in the wall. Joe got out of his car, took his helmet off, and whacked Norm in the elbow with his helmet and shattered his elbow. So they suspended Joe. The owner of Joe's car got the guys together, and they protested it, and they went on strike. Ultimately, that was the beginning of the end. Several years later, the track closed. In the summer of 2012, 40 years after the last lap was run at Heidelberg, Dave Kohler and local racing historian and host of Rappin' on Racing, Don Gamble, made certain that Heidelberg got its due recognition, with a ceremony and plaque commemorating the raceway. Expecting 20 to 30 people for the event, more than 400 people showed up. A testament to the love that this region has for racing and to one of the best racing facilities we've ever had. If you want to learn more about Heidelberg Raceway, go to speedwayproductions.biz.